What is up YouTube? Ruben here and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox. Windows 11 is basically uh, the latest version of Windows at the time of recording so let's get this started. So the first thing is VirtualBox and the second thing you need is the Windows 11 ISO directly from Microsoft and I'm also doing a voiceover too so let's get this started. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to click on new. You also notice uh, that I'm using a different machine and then you're going to type in Windows 11. I just typed in Windows 11 test because uh, of testing and then make sure it's set to Windows 11 and hit next, next, create, next, next, create. And I also going to make sure I set to 1 or 20 gigabytes and then what you're going to do is you're going to click on settings, system and make sure that enable EFI is checked and then go to processor and I had to look with four cores which actually made it successful then hit, then click on storage then you're gonna look click on the empty disk and you're gonna look for the ISO which mine is in there and then you're gonna click on OK and then you're gonna click on start then after that it should bring you the virtual machine and then now hit any key to boot from the CD or DVD and then during the uh, first phase of setup you'll see an error about the system requirements so you'll see what happens and click on next and then hit install now and then click on I don't have a proto key and then what you're going to do is I select the edition you got home pro whatever then hit next whichever edition you select and then this error should come up that says this PC can't run Windows 11 because uh, it has the system requirements uh, higher so what you do is click on close and then hit OK then I'm going to also reset the machine and then once again boot from the CD or DVD and then the first thing you need to do is you're going to hit shift F10 all together to bring up the command prompt and then what we're going to do is you're going to type in regedit in regedit you're going to go to H key local machine system and then you're going to make sure you actually highlight it at setup you click on setup and then right click new well right click in a new key and then you're going to type in lab config once done right click on and then hit new and then hit D word 32 bit value and you're going to type in bypass TPM check and then you're going to double click on that and then make sure you set the value to 1 and then hit OK then you're going to make another new key by right clicking new D word 32 bit value and you're, you're, and you're going to type in bypass secure boot check and this is for unsupported hardware and then again double click it and then make sure you set the value to 1 and then hit OK and now just for fun I'm going to right click new and then D, D word 32 bit value and you're going to type in bypass RAM check and then also double click on that and make sure it's at the one even though it already has four gigs of RAM and then hit OK and now close both windows and now you can click on next and then hit install now then click on I don't have a product key and now once again select the edition that you wanted and then hit next and now this should bring you the license terms and then check that and then hit next and then click on custom because we obviously don't have an armory system so we'll make sure it's on our place space and then hit next and now it's going to copy files and then after that it's going to restart and then click on restart now it should automatically boot into the hard drive so it's going to prepare devices and then it's going to give you another restart point so it should bring you the restart point after it's done and then it should automatically restart for you and now you should be getting into the GUI interface of setup you'll see the Windows 11 logo in just a second and you see the Windows 11 logo show up and then you can select the country you should hit yes 
and then make sure set to yes or whatever region you're on and then yes and then skip and now this is this is where home edition users will have to come into play if you hit shift f10 they'll bring you the command the command from and then type in msubi slash bypass nro and this is only for home edition and you hit enter and just your automatically restart but since we're running Windows 11 Pro which might still require a Microsoft account we have that option just click on I don't have internet and then click on continue with limited setup and then you're going to type in my name we just typed in test for fun and then hit next hit, hit next for the password you can't put one in there and then I just disable all these settings uh, as shown here in the privacy settings including advertising at 8 advertising ID where it will just automatically install like Candy Crush and then hit next and now you should be greeted with the welcome screen and this should give you the desktop like I said I'm doing a voiceover don't have to say I'm going to pause the video or something like that and then after that you should see almost there which means you're literally at the desktop and there you go you have successfully installed Windows 11 and VirtualBox the start menu automatically shows up. If you type in Winver and then hit enter, you should see that we're running Windows 11. So thank you guys for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Also follow me on Twitter at Ruben Alpha 17. Also follow me on Instagram at Ruben So that's how to install Windows 11 in VirtualBox. So I'll see you next time.